Cedar Kedushin, Rabbi Shlomo Einhorn, Rav and Dean of Yeshiva Yavna, and Rav of the Reuben family. Honored with Ede Kedushin, Rabbi Shlomo Axelrod, the Rabbi of Young Israel Woodmere, and Mr. Walter Feimblum, close friend of the Reuben family. Continuing in the Reuben Platt tradition, honored with pouring of the first coast, Mr. Ari Platt, close friend of the Chatan. The big question that everyone is thinking is, why Staten Island? <laughs> now, if the fact were not enough that Paul Newman and Steven Seagal were from here, I'd like to offer a deeper reason. I looked back at the first Safer ever printed and written here in Staten Island, and it's from a Rav 72 years ago. His name was Rav Walfish. And I saw in his Sefer, he explains why the bride goes around seven times, which there are many answers, but he goes on to explain something which I've never seen an answer to in that why are both mothers there as she goes around seven times. And he quotes the famous and classic reason that the seven times represent the walls of Jericho coming down, signaling that she will in a way Talia will figure out a way to bring down your defenses and you as a couple will live with your undivided self. <coughs> but adds Rav Walfish, Shma b'ni Musar avicha v'al titash Torah timecha. It's the mothers. It's the koach of both of the mothers who give you both the skill to go even beyond that. Not just to bring that down that wall, but to find a way to meet each other in the wake of its crumbling. To find a way to merge those midos that both of you got from your mothers. What Miriam, Mrs. Kugelman has given you the idea of, of caring, of love, of compassion. And Magittal, Mrs. Rubin has given you, has given you an uncanny ability to be strong, to be resilient, and to face life with tenacity and poise. 
And those midos together, that blend, that beautiful blend, will not just bring down any walls between you, but that will help you come together this afternoon and ad mea ve'esrim. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei priagofen. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kitchanu mitzvosa vitzivanu al arayot veaser lanu esarusos hitir lanu esenesuas lanu al yedei chupa vikidushin. Baruch atadonai mekadesh amo Yisrael al yedei chupa vikidushin. Daniel is now going to give his kala this ring. Did you purchase this ring? And it's worth the Sheva Pruta. <laughs> Part of the act of giving the ring, which is the Kenyan Kedushin, the symbol of the circle of the ring, according to the Al Sheikh, symbolizes that you're now joining together to be part of the Tzibor, part of the community. And the amazing thing is that a ring alone is insignificant in the eyes of Jewish halacha. It's only when you do the action of putting on the ring, you, teaching us that we need to be part of the community, part of the Tzibor, actively and together. That's what makes us a great and powerful couple. Holding the Ketuvah, Rav Mordechai Feuerstein, close friend of the family of the Chatan. Honored with reading of the Ketuvah, Rabbi Simcha Lefkowitz, Mord Da'as Rav, Congregation Anshei Chesed. Honored with Birkat Kohanim, Rav Nachum Cohen from Yerushalayim. The custom to read the Ketubah in between the Erisin and the Nesuin. That custom was actually instituted to give us some space between the two parts of the ceremony. But it's a beautiful tradition because inside the Ketuba are what we call the Achrayot, the responsibility of one to each other. And Talia, when I think of the responsibility that Daniel is promising you, I think about the amazing qualities of responsibility that are embodied both by your future father-in-law, David, and passed on to his son, Daniel. David, an example of responsibility, of achrayot, of creativity, of leadership. And his son, Daniel, your soon-to-be full Nesuit husband. Your son, Daniel, is an example, enlisting in the IDF, moving to Israel, being part together with you, in settling the land, the mitzvah of Yeshua Aretz, which I know is so important to both of you. You are examples of what it means to have achrayat, to take responsibility. So this ksuba that we're going to read now is more than just a time spacer. It's about accepting achrayat, and that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Staten Island, New York, Kachom <laughs> 
David Eliezer ben Shalom glad aid, the Um Yechiel Doi ben Shmuel Yisrael Herod's aid. Honored with Bircha Kohanim, Rav Nachum Cohen from Yerushalayim. Gefim Chodim, Gefraim Mechemenashe, Gefol Rifko Rochel Veleo, Yevorechacho Adoinoi Beish Barecho, Yoir Adoinoi, Pono Veilecho Vichuneko, Iso Adoinoi, Pono Veilecho. Second come, Dr. William Isaacoff, close friend of the Rubin family. We're about to start what's called the Nisuin. The Nisuin is actually in English what we call wedding, the marriage itself. And the word Nisuin has the Shorish of Nasa, which means to lift up. All these great qualities, all these beautiful and amazing people here today are just midot that lay before you, waiting for you two as a couple to lift them up together. That's what it means to have nisuin, that together you'll lift them up. And you could do that when you live together with a clear purpose, with a mission together. And in mentioning that, I acknowledge that that's a gift that's given to Talia from her father, Sir Neil Kugelman. The idea of living with purpose, living with vision, living with an ideal. And that ideal passes from Talia over to you, Daniel. And together, that ability, that ability of Nesuin, what Talia is able to do is also lift up a room when she enters it. When she walks in, everyone knows that there's a change in the atmosphere as she has walked into the room, a change of positivity, an energy shift. And that's what we're feeling under this amazing chuppah. So let's get to it and celebrate this amazing Nesuin. Honored with the first bracha, Mr. Max Kogelman, paternal grandfather of the Kala. <laughs> Honored with the second bracha, Mr. Arthur Hyman, maternal grandfather of the Kala. <laughs> Amen. Honored with the third bracha of my Zaidi, Mr. Alan Goldstein, maternal grandfather of the Chatan. Honored with the fourth bracha, Zishu Wertheimer, great uncle of the Chatan. Honored with the fifth bracha, Mr. Joey Goldstein, uncle of the Chatan. So, Stasis, Vitagela, Kara, Begibut, Banehala, Tocha, Basimcha, Baro, Chata, Denai, Mr. Mel Tion, Bivaneha. Honored with the sixth bracha, Rabbi Zev Meir Friedman, Rosh Mesifta of Mesifta Rambam, and uncle of the Kala. Honor with the seventh bracha, Rav Nachum Rubin, uncle of the Chatan. Sasamical Simpa, 
Oh, oh, oh. 